Cool. Hello, my name is Julian from The Rock Church, and I'm here to teach you how to make a balloon poodle today. You're going to need two things. One is going to be your balloon, and the second is going to be your pup. What I like to do is just put it on the end and fill it up with a foot of air. For this one, uh, proportions are very important, and you're also going to be making a lot of very small bubbles. So after it's tied, you're going to do the nose, followed by the eye, the top of the head, and then the eye again. So for this one, you're going to want to do a one inch bubble for the nose, followed by a three quarter inch for the eye, and then another one inch bu bubble for the top, and then one more three quarter inch bubble for the other eye. So it's going to look like one inch, three quarter inch, one inch, three quarter inch. And then, so it's going to be big, small, big, small. So what you want to do here to make the face all come together is you want to get in between the nose and the eye, and the eye and what's ever left over, and then twist these across. All right, like that. And that's going to be your head of the dog, like that. Okay? The next part is going to be the neck of the dog, which in this case will be a one inch, I'm sorry, a half inch bubble. And then followed by that is going to be the legs of the dog. So for this part, it's going to be leg, foot, foot, leg. So you're going to do a one inch to a three quarter inch level for the leg, a half inch level for the foot, another half inch level for the foot, and then another three quarter inch for the other foot. So now it's going to look like this where you got the half inch for the neck, leg, foot, foot, leg, like that. And then you're going to get this part between the neck and the leg, and between the leg and whatever's left over, and then twist that across like that. You only need to do that about once or twice, and it should stay locked in pretty good. So now you've got the head, the neck, and then the legs of the dog. So the next is going to come the body, which can be about a one inch to a one and a half inch body, like that. And you want to keep in mind how much air you have left on the end. So in this case, I'm going to do a half inch bubble for the leg, followed by a slightly smaller bubble for the foot, and another one about the same size for the other foot, and then another half inch bubble for the other foot. So now I've got the body, leg, foot, foot, leg, and I'm going to twist them together like that. Straighten it out. So now it's got the head, the neck, the legs, the body, back legs, and all that our poodle needs now is a, a fancy tail on the end. So for this part, what I like to do is I get my hand and I hold over this loose part, and I get the other hand and I gently squeeze the bottom, and it's going to force the bubble to go up like that. And the reason why I put my other hand on this gap right here is so that way the air would be forced to travel to the tip. And if you keep playing with it enough, and it should stay in the end like that. And now you put it on the fancy tail. That's how you do a dog.